What's happening all my YouTube peeps? Thanks for tuning back into the channel today. We've got some really cool stuff going on. We've got some Milwaukee high grade impacts to be able to show you guys and do some inspecting and some torque testing on today. We've also got some snap-on tools to do some comparison reviews with on how great they hold up compared to the snap-on and the Milwaukee's. It's gonna be some pretty awesome stuff. Make sure you stay tuned. So in the tool world, specifically the automotive one here recently, there's been quite a big quarrel when it comes to electric impact tools. So I got my hands on a couple of the newer Milwaukee impacts. I've got a couple of my snap-on ones to be able to kind of compare with that and show you guys the differences, torque power, and actual hands-on capabilities. We've got a head over here on a uh, diesel that we're going to be trying to take off and a couple of other lug nuts and stuff. Uh, we're going to be going through the Milwaukee's one key that I've got here. That's a really cool system. I really like that one. We're going to go into some of the specs on that one as well. So first one that we come to is our Milwaukee half inch drive model number 2863-20. This is the half inch drive one key with the snap ring anvil on the front. Runs in M18, so as normal with the uh, Milwaukee tools, they run so many tool options with them. It's a pretty awesome system. Fuel, brushless, this thing is pretty sweet, pretty sexy, and it is an absolute hammer. As you can see here on the battery, it's got a level showing you how much battery power is there, and the one key selection has different settings that you can choose and to connect to a mobile smartphone app as well. That's going to allow you to differentiate and adjust some of your torque and RPM levels that this thing outputs as well. All in all, a very, very high grade tool. Spec wise, it is the half inch. It has roughly 1,000 foot pounds of on power and 1,400 foot pounds of off. Running the 18 volt M18. This specific one is a 5 amp hour battery that we're going to be doing our testing with. Then we've got our Milwaukee 3 8 drive stubby impact. It's going to be part number 2554-20 in the m12 12 volt we've got a three amp hour or battery that we're going to be testing it with the stubby version three eighths reversible with a light battery indicator is going to be on the tool and not the battery on this one this one's going to be about 150 foot pounds on torque and about 300 250 to 300 foot pounds off torque Pretty nice, compact size. I really do like the design and how this one feels. It's a lot lighter and a lot more compact. This one also does have the selectable setting range as well. Here we've got our different settings that we just push. Um, we've got our breakaway or our on torque. So whenever you pull the trigger, the first hammer that it hits, it stops. So if you need to torque something down to a specific torque with a torque wrench afterwards, you're able to spin this on and as soon as that hammer hits once, it absolutely stops the anvil. And then we're going to go through settings 1, 2, and 3 is respective to RPM and torque as well for off power. So to get you guys a little bit of reference on how powerful these impacts are going to be, we have an engine here from a 2016 Dodge Ram ProMaster 3 liter VM diesel. We're going to be taking out these M15 with an E-Torx 18 millimeter head on them. These head bolts are on there 100 foot pounds plus 180 degrees of torque. So they're going to be really, really on there. So we're not going to be really uh, kind of explaining and comparing this one to any of the snap-on electrics because 
honestly, the Monster Lithium Snap-on half-inch gun is kind of a wuss when it comes to this. So we've got the Snap-on latest and greatest PT850 Air Impact to compare and see how this one is going to take out the head bolts as compared to the Milwaukee. So first up on our lift is going to be the Snap-on PT850. It's hooked up to Shop Air. We're running right around 140, 145 psi of Shop Air. Let's see what this thing can do. Ah! After about 10 seconds of hammering, it was able to take it out. All right, so let's compare that over to the Milwaukee. So here with the Milwaukee, we're running three-fourths of our battery power right now. We've got a five amp hour battery, same exact hookup, and we're gonna see what this one can do. After about literally one and a half seconds, it busts them loose. We'll do another one. It definitely just snapped our snap-on bit off. Look at that one. So, it's got the torque. <laughs> Enough to bust your tools in half. Thanks, Snap-On. Next up to test, we're going to be testing the Snap-On 14.4 volt 3 8 electric impact. And we've got here a 2016 Ram 1500. This thing has 22 millimeter head lug nuts torqued to 140 foot pounds of torque. Will the Snap-On one be able to take these lug nuts off? After about five seconds of impact, it did. See, will it take a second one off? Yep, about after five seconds of impact, it's able to take it off. Now let's switch it over to the Milwaukee and see what that does. Here's our Milwaukee stubby. Does it have a full battery? M12 as compared to the Snap-on 14 volt. Okay. Let's see if this one will take off our others. About a second and a half. About the same. So this thing takes off lug nuts with about half as much effort as the Snap-on. So now we're going to step it up a little bit for these 3 8 guys. We're going to move it up to the 21 millimeter stud lug of this uh, ProMaster diesel and see if these things will take this one off. First up is a snap-on. Big old bucket of nope. Alright, swift it over to the stubby. Okay. Go over to a fresh one. One out. Do another one. Won't do that one. Three of them, four of them. That one must. Just, that one must just be way over torqued from somebody prior to this. But as you can see, the Milwaukee, the little stubby, is a beast. She's able to break off a lot more than what the Snap-on can get a hold of. So one of the coolest things that these tools have to offer is the one key setup. And I do have that in the half inch version here. The one key setup allows you to have selectable functions, program them in with your cell phone, and you're actually able to change and adjust different RPM and torque value outputs. I'm gonna show you guys, I programmed one in already here ahead of time. We're gonna show you exactly what that can do. Also with the one key app, I'll open her up here and we'll see what else we can do with it. 
So once we open our OneKey app, you can see right here the tool that I already have programmed in. We're able to select that and then it also has something really awesome. It's able to connect to the Wi-Fi in there on your phone and see where it's last seen. So if your OneKey enabled tool leaves your designated area, it actually has the capability to let you know when your tool has left. So right now we're going to connect in to our tool make sure the tool is on we put it over here onto the Wi-Fi section right here and then we can do a couple different functions you can turn the tool lock on so right now the tool works just fine if we turn our tool lock on go to hit the trigger absolutely nothing so those guys with sticky fingers coming over to your box they won't be able to use your expensive tools that you just bought Turn the tool lock off. The tool controls is probably the best function they have. You're able to go into it, and as you can see over here on the tool, there are four different settings that you can choose from. Pushing the selector button, it will then go through the different settings. So you can put four different custom settings in. One, two, three, or four, individually set them. Two, three, and then I've got number four set at all the balls out. So it has the full amount of RPM, torque removal, so here on custom number one is what I set it up to and I actually had it set very nicely for 19 millimeter standard size lug nuts on um, torquing them on to right around 100 to 110 foot pounds. It's not dead on exact but in that realm of 100 to 110 that's 90% of the cars that we work on nowadays. I was able to set the max speed RPM then um, when we're talking about the bolt removal, the removal speed, and then we can put in a custom torque level when we're on, on to on position. So I have it set at level two. Level two with that RPM setting is set perfectly for 19 millimeter bolts. So right now I can go over here to my uh, tool, get a 19. So we can go over here, we've got a Chrysler 200 here with some lug nuts we're able to work on. And the off power is gonna work just normally, just like every other one would. It's able to take them off. And then when we go back to the on setting, I gotta make sure I'm on number one on the tool. Number one, go on, and it will stop. I didn't even have to take my finger off the trigger. You want to take the bolt off, hit the off key, takes it off just normally, full, all out, and then when we go to back on, it stops right where it needs to, and that one we have tested multiple times, it will be between 100 and 110 foot-pounds. So if you guys are able to do that in, in that function, that works great for what you have. I'm going to be selecting this and making it a, a couple more custom selections on my uh, smartphone and the app for the other uh, numbers there on the tool. So I can do a uh, custom uh, selection for some larger lug nuts. I just kind of haven't gotten around to it. So back to the app here. We've got your tool information, where it was last seen and everything. You can manage your profile and you can actually have um, people set up to where they can check this tool in and out. So for you guys who have contractors who have a whole bunch of these tools, you guys can tell guys, you know, when you check this tool out, you've got to make sure you check it out. You can turn the tool lock off and it tells you who actually did it. So you can give different access to different people for these. So that would be in managing the profiles, identify your tool. Not exactly sure what that one is. Oh, it's over here flashing so it can tell you which one you're working on this specific one like if your um, if your model number or your serial number was worn off on the actual gun so you couldn't tell which one you were working at you hit the identify tool button and it sits there and just flashes at you so you know which tool you're working with pretty cool and then you're able to go to a factory reset all in all, this is one of the reasons I bought this specific impact because of the functionality of this app with the Milwaukee half inch impact. It makes it something that is uh, top of the line here on the market and there's not really anything else that you can compare it to. These things are just plain badass. 
One last thing that I would recommend getting to anybody, I have not gotten one yet for my half inch, but for my 3 8 I did get one in today. It is a, for the stubby one, it is a nice boot cover. These things are pretty thick. They fit fantastically well. I didn't have to fight with this thing forever, and it fits absolutely perfect. All the, the vent holes for the motor, the selector switch on top, all the way around all the edges, and it's got bolstered corners that are nice and protective. So if you drop this thing, I'm not gonna be worrying about this thing cracking and breaking all the time. So we've got that, and I've got one on order for this. It just has not yet uh, come out yet. So, or I just haven't gotten it yet. So that will be coming soon as well. So the biggest thing that everybody really wants to hear about is the prices for these things. The half inch, impact with one key with the uh, friction ring on there just for the tool alone is going to cost right around 259 uh, to 300 dollars depending on where you get it from and then the 38 stubby in the m12 version that one's going to run you about 180 dollars so your batteries and everything are going to be separate usually if you get the kit on the half inch one with the battery and the charger everything with it that's going to end up running you right around five hundred dollars so you're doing pretty good there because the snap-on version of the monster lithium is going to be running you about 749 to 800 dollars right now in that comparison in the pt850 that's going to run you about 500 plus then over here at the 3 8 that one compared to the snap-on version, the snap-on with the tool only of the, the CT version, the 3 8 impact, that one's going to run you right around 260 bucks, 250 260 for the tool only. Add batteries, you're well over the $300, $350 range. So these things kill them on price, kill them on how they work. They're just killer tools all the way around. All right guys, well that's about all I've got for you today in comparing these tools. I hope you guys enjoyed it and actually were able to take some of this information to uh, take forth and hopefully get some of these really awesome tools. Make sure you keep uh, track of the channel coming up here. I've got some really neat content coming up. I've got a nice track hawk here in the shop we're gonna be doing some uh, engine work on and that's gonna be some neat stuff. Uh, make sure you go check out uh, my channel over on Instagram at the Rust Belt Mechanic. Make sure you stay tuned in for cool stuff like that. I post stuff to keep you guys up to date all the time. So thank you again. I appreciate all your support, and you guys stay awesome.